Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a tutorial for you today and I was getting ready to go to work at Sephora. I'd already done my hair and then I thought, you know what? I have some extra time. I might as well film it. So I had some requests to do a look with this palette. This is the Marc Jacobs The Siren palette and I got this as gratis and it's just such a fun summery palette. It's, it, well, any time of year, I guess you could use it. It's really just like a rainbow palette. It's a lot of fun. I've done some looks with these kind of warmer shades, and then today I used the kind of cooler turquoisey blue shades, and then I also brought in this um, white kind of shimmery color. It's really pretty. It's very pigmented. Um, I really like this palette. I think it's a lot of fun. You do, if you want to make it wearable, then you do need to bring in some kind of um, neutral shades for your transition colors, for your outer corner, just something to kind of balance it a little bit. So I pulled in my Lorac Pro palette. So this is a look using both of these palettes. And it's fun, it's colorful, it's kind of a peacock sort of inspired eye because it's turquoise and blue. But then you've also got those neutral shades in it, so it makes it a little bit more wearable. So I really enjoy it. If I do blues, this is pretty much always the way I wear blues. Just because I still feel like I can pretty much go anywhere. Um, I wouldn't go to a super fancy meeting or something like that in it. but. Pretty much everything else, I would still wear this eye look because I still think it's wearable. So I think it's a lot of fun. I hope that you enjoy it. If you want to see how to get this look using the Siren palette and also the Lorac Pro, then just keep watching. Okay, we're going to start by priming our eyes. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeshadow Primer and just apply that to your lids. Now I'm going to apply some Max Painterly Paint Pot to the top half of my lids to cancel out discoloration. Now I'm going to apply a base. I'm going to use this Jordana pencil. This is the 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in Aqua Last. And I'm just going to apply that to my lids. Now I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro palette. I'm going to get some of Mauve on a blending brush. This is a Sedona Lace EB09. And I'm going to apply that right above my crease as my transition color. Just blend that over. Now to just warm up that crease area just a little bit, I'm going to get some of taupe on that same blending brush and apply some of that just right over it. It just gives it a little bit more warmth. To get some cream on any kind of a brush that you've got that's kind of fluffy. I do not even know what this is. Um, I think it's a Smashbox something. I don't even know where I got it. And apply that as your brow bone highlight. It's very pigmented, so I usually just get a little bit and kind of distribute it on both sides. Now I'm going to go in with my Siren palette and get some of this teal right here. And we're going to apply this to the inner part of our eyelids and build up that color. This one's not very pigmented, so it takes some building. And then I'm gonna take some of this blue on this same brush. This is a detailer brush from Real Techniques, and I'm gonna apply this on kind of the inner half and blend it into that teal, and then bring it over just slightly into this outer corner, because we're gonna put something dark out there so it's okay if it goes over into that area, but it's going to be covered up anyway. So you really just want to apply it to the middle and blending it over into the two sections. Now I'm going to get some of Espresso from the Lorac Pro Palette. And this is a brush from CVS, I'm not sure what it's called. And just apply this to your outer corner. Very, very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. You can apply it to both sides and then start the blending. So once you apply it, you're going to blend it over into your crease and into that blue. Adding a brown like this really makes a colorful eye look more wearable because you've got those blending shades that are neutral, you've got your darker outer corner that's neutral. It just really helps blend everything and make it more wearable for your everyday life. And now you can go back into those colorful shades and really just brighten them up a little bit. Now 
Now I'm going to take some of this dark green from the Siren palette on that same detailer brush and apply that to my lower lash line. And then just to add some brightness, I'm going to get some of this white and apply that to my inner corner, blending it over into the teal a little bit, and then right on the inner part of my lower lash line. And then just apply whatever liners you like to use. I'm going to be using these two today. This one right here is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Cold Kajal in Brown. Now if I wasn't going to work at Sephora today, I would probably just use this on my upper and lower lash line just to kind of make a more sort of um, smudgy sort of a look, but I want a more defined look for Sephora today. So I'm going to be using, this is the um, Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. And I'm going to line my upper lash line and do a little bit of a wing, but that's optional. And then just curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and the Jordana Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. Stay tuned to find out what I used on the rest of my face. For foundation today, I'm wearing my beloved Estee Lauder Double Wear. I wear it in 2N1 Desert Beige. And then I've got um, two of my favorite concealers. I'm out of one, but I kind of do a concealer concoction because I've got some under eye circles. They're not horrible, but I just really like to cover them well. So I use the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I wear it in ivory. And then I also really love the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, but I'm out of that right now. And then this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Love it. This is in NW20. And then to set everything, I use my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Buff. This is so good. I've had this like a long time, like well over a year, and I've still got a lot of it left. And then for my bronzer, I'm wearing my NARS Laguna bronzer. This is kind of on its last leg. I, I, I don't know. I kind of want to finish it, but I kind of don't because I love this bronzer. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but not enough that it doesn't work as a contour. It still works as a contour. So I will use it as my contour and also to warm up my face. I just love that bronzer. It's one of my favorites, but it, it runs out really quickly for some reason. And then for blush, I'm wearing the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop in Ginger Pop. <laughs> it's just a really cute, warm, kind of corally shade. It's so cute, I love it. And it goes with a lot of different looks. And then for lips today, I'm wearing Max Honey Love. It's just a really nice nude. It's kind of a brownie nude, but not like a yucky brownie nude, you know? It's still a cute brownie nude. And then I have some of um, Buxom's Lip Gloss in White Russian over the top of it. it smells amazing. It's an amazing gloss, kind of ting, not tingly, but kind of cooling. So it's supposed to sort of help, I guess, plump your lips. I don't know, but they smell awesome and they're pretty colors. So that's what I've got on my lips. All right, guys, so that's the finished looking tutorial. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know your thoughts on the Siren palette, the Lorac Pro palette, or just your thoughts. I love just chatting with you guys. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.